What's up guys, it's here and welcome back to episode number 4 now of Let's Play Ultimate Team. So, as you saw in the previous episode, we did actually manage to find our way out of Division 5 and now we are in Division 4. And due to the fact that we did get the Division title, we did get a nice amount of coins. We are now rocking the 3,500 coins, so I did put um, it to you guys in the previous episode. Who do you guys want me to buy? I was looking to improve my defence and I was reading through the near thousand comments and a lot of the comments were saying get Felipe Santana and get Naldo. Now, Naldo I am a massive, massive fan of. I think he's either six foot five or six foot six. He's either one of them. He's extremely tall and his in-game stats for heading are absolutely unbelievable. So if you're attacking with a corner or defending a corner, I'm going to be extremely comfortable, let's say, um, knowing that I have Naldo in the box to either win that header for scoring a goal or defending. So that's who we did bring in. You saw the prices there. Felipe Santana did cost 1,400 coins and um, Naldo did cost me 1,200 coins. Now I do want to say that they are out of formation due to the fact 4 on 2 on 2 is extremely expensive. But anyway, we will fix that later on when we have got enough coins. So as you can see here then, we've gone into our first game and we did actually take the lead here with Juf. Juf is one of those players on Ultimate Team where for some reason everyone thinks he's shit. He goes for around 800 coins and when I bought him, you guys were putting in the comment section, do not buy him, get rid of him, he cannot score. But you're going to see in these next couple of games, he does not stop scoring for me. I don't know what's going on, he just seems to be finding the back wherever possible. So you saw there my opposition did actually manage to get an equaliser which I was rather gutted about. And straight after that Marco Royce managed to get um, a, a lead for him. So um, I don't know why my two defenders, you know, I was beating up Felipe Santana and Naldo just then, but um, unfortunately they weren't able to get Royce off the ball, so he did actually give them lead, but luckily for me, Juf again popped up on the score sheet and did get me an equaliser by half time. So you can see these stats, you can choose for yourself who you thought deserved the win. I mean, I was pretty much dominating by half time, and I did actually take the lead with Naldo. There we are, getting on the score sheet. I've piped him up enough already, so I'm expecting him to get on the score sheet as much as possible, and what did I say? Corners, he's absolutely deadly. So Straight after that then, we did take the 4-2 lead with Juve. Again, I was saying how many times he's going to be on the score sheet in this episode. It is a lot. A really nice whipped in ball from whoever that was. And it's the exact same for this goal. But this time it was S. Vine um, finding his head onto the ball. And that is how that game did end. 5-2 for me. So that was absolutely awesome. 635 coins, which was lovely to stick in the bank. And we did have 12 shots on target compared to my opposition's 8. So for me, I personally think that was a deserved 3 points. You can see there, that was our first game in Division 4. And without any hesitation, we jumped into our following game. Now, this was the squad we did come up against. It was a really, really nice Premiership Silver squad. Now, a lot of you are saying... You've got gold players in your squad. You should be winning this without a doubt. But if you played silver teams, never, ever, 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 ever underestimate silver teams. I mean, they're, sometimes they can be absolutely unreal. But fortunately for me, I did get a penalty quite early on in the 12th minute. I did put goats on the ball. And how is that for a penalty? Absolutely sublime. Smashing into the top left of the uh, net. So that was the 1-0 lead for us. And straight after that, in the 25th minute, we did get a free kick. And I'm, I'm not going to say anything. This is Juf. I thought Goatza was on the free kick. That was Juf. Now, you'll put, if you've been a long-term subscriber of mine, you will have seen in the previous season of this, we had Inform Tarat, and I could not score with him. No matter how many free kicks I had, I could not score with him. And we're already on our fourth episode. I got Juf on the end of, on the end of that free kick. Yes, I thought it was Goatza. As I was taking the free kick, I was like, oh, shit, I've got Juf on this. What's he going to do? And he smashes it into the back of the net. So straight after that, then, this... Left midfielder took the lead. I'm not, I don't even want to pronounce his name because I know it's going to be wrong, but he is one of the players that I did buy simply for the chemistry. I think he cost me around 450 coins. And then straight after that, S Vine did pick up a fourth goal for me, and this guy was just like, fuck that. And he did rage quit. So, with every single rage quit in this series, I do send him that see a nerd message. So, that silver premiership team didn't cause me as much trouble as I thought it would normally when you come up against them. I mean, he had like, uh, Lukaku up front, sorry. Uh, almost butchered his name, but yeah, he had Lukaku up front, and I thought he was going to be causing me all sorts of problems, but um, wasn't to be, and we did get a nice easy um, three points in that game with him rage quitting, so last and final game of this episode then, we came up against another Premiership squad, we've got um, Sturridge up front there, Dembele, Sessegnon, Podolski, Javi Garcia, we've got Teote, and his two centre-backs are Agar, and I think that was Koscielny, so he got another free kick, this time I did get Goetzer on it, and in fairness to him, it was a really, really nice save, I mean, he's got in-form Schwartz, 
Schwarzer in goal. Um, and my God, honestly, when I say this, please believe me, he is by far the best uh, goalkeeper I've come up against. I mean, I thought um, Czech and Neuer were good goalkeepers, but you're going to see at the half time how many shots I had on target and what the score was. I mean, I think it's coming up now. I did uh, get to the, uh, another, the second goal in that game by S. Vine. So it's good to see that he was getting on the score sheet a little bit. A really nice ball there through to Juve, but he managed to get his second goal uh, in that game and the third goal for that uh, for me in that game. And my opposition did bring on Darren Bent, and I'm not sure too sure who he brought him in for, but um, he wasn't coming on as a striker. So we had um, Darren Bent rolling around in the midfield a little bit. He did manage to pick up one goal just before halftime with uh, Daniel Sturridge, but look at that, 13 shots on target, and I'd only managed to bury three. So straight after halftime then, Darren Bent, he brought on uh, as a midfielder, did manage to claw one back for him, so I was getting a little bit wired when he brought that back to 3-2. But straight after that, I don't know what Bender was doing up front, but how is this for a goal for him? I mean, it's a centre defensive mid player, and he was fairly pushed up in the, in the pitch, and that is a really, really nice goal, especially considering I think I paid around 300 coins for him. And then straight after that, I mean, what's he doing that far up? I mean, I did have a word with him after the game. I said, come on, mate, I know you want to get on the score sheet, but remember, you're a centre defensive mid, so please help out the defence and don't get caught up the field too much. But after that then, that was 5-2. I unfortunately allowed Darren Bent another opportunity, and in fairness to him, he did make the, make the most of it, and he did pull that one back for a... 5-3, but um, I did have that five goals secured, so that was another three points for me. So at the end of the game, then, you can see there, 19 shots on target compared to his. I'm not sure how many it was, but that did give us the three points, and that does mean that we are only one point away from the division title, uh, the promotion, sorry. So you're going to have to wait until the next episode to see if we get the division title and even the promotion. But there you can see Goetzer with his 11 goals, followed shortly behind Juf, who I think is going to overtake him in the next episode, but you're going to have to wait and see if that is the case. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, then please do leave a like. As always, if we can smash 2,000 likes, that would be super, super awesome. So thank you ever so much for all your support. I hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, please do leave a like and a comment. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.